we have our 2006 Club Car DS, as you can see here. We also have a new camera. We got the GH5, Panasonic GH5. Links down, down in the description for all this stuff. Uh, what we're going to be doing on this is we're going to be doing one more upgrade and we're going to finalize our repair. I got the bolts now for the shock or the spring hanger, so we can get that done. That'll be out of the way. It's a set of Crown 8 volt batteries. These are. 17s, they're not that old. They were just old stock, new old stock. So I got them at a discount. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in this cart. Now this cart here is rated for 412 volt batteries, okay? So it's set up, I should say, for 412 volt batteries. And we're gonna do conversion to 68 volt batteries. And that's gonna involve a couple of things based on this serial number. So we have to upgrade the onboard computer, which I have in this box and we're also going to upgrade the battery cage which I have in this box and that's going to be our video for today. Alright so because the onboard computer swap out and battery cage conversion is basically an afterthought from before I decided to put the back seat on that's why I put the back seat on first and I didn't do this first. Uh, this wasn't planned, this was kind of one of those last minute decisions that, I don't know, may come back and bite me on the ass. And now because we're gonna be doing six eight volts as opposed to four 12 volt batteries, the light kit, we're gonna have to add a voltage reducer to this now. All right, so for this installation, here are the tools I will be using. A pair of dikes, or diagonal cutters, a three eighths drive extension, it's like two inch, two and a half inch, 13 millimeter or half inch deep socket, three eighths deep socket, 13 millimeter or half inch shallow socket, seven sixteenths deep socket or shallow socket, all depends, three eighths drive ratchet, quarter drive ratchet with short extension and three eighths socket. Okay, here's the onboard computer kit. <coughs> Lots of packaging paper. Okay. Your factory OEM onboard computer. Instruction sheet. Okay, so something I want to note about if you're gonna do a conversion such as this, and the reason why I have a new onboard computer versus using what's already existing in the golf cart. Okay, so this 2006 Club Cart DS does not have the right revision for eight volt batteries. If you're gonna do a conversion like this, you're gonna need to make sure that you have at least a 3.0 revision on the onboard computer to support the eight volt batteries. Otherwise, you'll probably get incorrect charging algorithms. So if you have AQ0601 and up, have a 2.05 onboard computer and should have upgraded to 3.0 onboard computer when you're upgrading to 8 volt batteries. If you have AQ0635 670 273 and up, that's your serial number and it's higher than that, should have 2.06 onboard computer and do not require an upgrade. But if you want to upgrade, and it's desired, 3.0 onboard computer is what you need. This one's a 5.0, so we're good. And this is part number CGR034. All right, to give yourself easier access, just remove the front seat back cushion. That way, if you have the back seat installed already, that is, that way you can get down in here without any issues. It's a little smaller than 10 mils, so that won't. You don't have to take them all the way out. And then there's another one down here by the solenoid. Okay. I like to get them, get them backed out enough. Here's the 
volt wire up to the solenoids in the way. Let's see here, top one's out. Let's loosen up the solenoid and get it out of the way. These are also 3 8 okay. And again, you don't have to take these nuts all the way out, or bolts all the way out. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, there we go. So much shit in the way. Slide that out. All right, so there we go. You can see how easy that kind of, how kind of easy that was. It's best to do this with no batteries in your cart. It gives you a lot more room to work. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll unplug that. I just took the orange thing out of there. I just dropped my rubber gasket, so I'll get that. I'll get my triangle that plugs in there because that's what keeps your wires in place. You need that. Now this way, your connector doesn't get all screwed up on you. You gotta keep that in there. And then, make sure your O-ring goes back on. Make sure it goes on correctly. Here we go. Okay. So now I can kind of pull this down and out of the way for a minute. Let's get our controller cover off. Now this is a good onboard computer, so this will be available for sale at a steep discount. Now these you do have to remove, just don't lose them. There is two. right off. Don't lose the foam. Okay, so here's our controller. We have to disconnect on our controller. Here's the wire that comes from your negative battery cable that goes through the onboard computer, which this is how it records the uh, energy it's used and charging back in. And we got to take off this nut here on the top. zip tie that holds the wiring together. Okay, so we also have this grounding block down here. We gotta get this wire off. <clears throat> there's the nut, and there's the lock washer. Okay, there's that. Now, just feed it through. Hole. And we're going to take our new one, feed it in. Okay. Put this one here. Same orientation. I'm going to that on. I know this is a weird angle guys. This is very strange to all I'm doing is tightening down the brackets that hold the onboard computer in place. And then I'm gonna remount the solenoid. 
that in and down. Okay. Now I'll tighten the bolts for the solenoid. This up here. Let's plug this in. Okay, it clicked. See, technically, we don't even need, need. See, this little jumper wire here. You can reuse it, or you install only this wire to the controller and then use your jumper pigtail with the butt connector on it, the bullet connector. So we're gonna opt for that. And one thing to keep in mind with my cart here is this thing has not had batteries in it in over two years. So there's no residual juice left in the system. Okay, now we're gonna put a zip tie on that. Cut this off. Now we'll install this. I can route it later. I'm gonna put this on. Now this goes on that ground terminal. I know it's hard to see because my hands are in the way and it's, there's a lot of wires here. Lock washer on. Thread the nut on. I know some carts won't have... If you have this jumper wire, you don't need to use the pigtail. I'm using the pigtail because it's here. Let's install our controller cover. Catch it in the slots in the rear here. Line it up. Controller cover is installed. Our onboard computer is installed. We're done on this end of the cart, so now we can move to under the seat. All right, so now that we have the onboard computer, the old one is right here. So now we just have to undo all of these zip ties, get this wire harness separated from the light kit here, and then change out some plugs right here and hook up the new one, we're pretty much ready to go. Unplug our fuse, the fuse stays with the charger socket. Plug in. Fuse. Three eighths quarter drive socket here. Okay. Okay, now our onboard computer, our old one, is completely removed. There's our new negative. Here's our fuse, that's the sense wire. Now you see why we did the electrical side of this first and not the battery cage side of it. Okay, so that is tight. Okay, if it's elevated a little bit, it's not going to hurt anything. In fact, I probably have a little more. Yeah. Let me cut that and redo another one here. I tightened up as I pulled it. There's a lot of a lot of slack, so it's not like we don't have enough slack.
onboard computer upgrade, that's complete. Now we can start working on this battery cage. All right guys, so that's gonna basically wrap up this video here. That was an onboard computer change out video. In the next one, we're gonna be doing the battery cage, get them swapped out, and we'll get the eight volt batteries installed and hooked up. And this cart will basically be ready to go. So we got the back seat cushion back installed, nice and tight, but uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one.